Hey, you down here. Okay, doing a live test for another live stream. I'm going to try to work on the server again. And uh, I've got all kinds of things set up. I've been setting up for forever. Um, so this is cam one. And it's going to be the me cam. And then uh, cam four is going to be the computer, the server cam. And whatever else, if I need to move it or anything, I can move it pretty easy. And uh, then, uh, <clears throat> let's see what else will I do. One, and then there's one in, uh, <clears throat> and one in server. <clears throat> and then there's USB server and desktop. And then there's one in desktop. And then there's USB endoscope. It's up there. <clears throat> uh, endoscope and cam one. In the scope and server, and uh, then we'll go back up here and we'll switch to the wireless mic. <coughs> <coughs> okay, now I adjusted the volume, it was just very noticeably louder than the SM58. And last quite a well, it's been kind of last five or so videos, I really noticed it. So I thought, you know, I'm a, I don't know. Maybe something wasn't working right, and I had to turn it up at some point. But uh, it used to be closer than that. Or, I don't know uh, how long ago, to be honest. But anyway, uh, especially since you know, I, was, uh, was, I didn't make any videos for a couple of months, and then I started making videos again. So let's go around the desktop. I've got. I'm in the admin page of the IPCam two, and I'm going to use it. Let's see my video I'm making first. Yeah, here's the one I'm making now. My set up my test video. Now I've got it all set up, uh, and I'm going to use it to. Uh, I think it's going to do okay as far as like working with the screen. I've got that. I've actually got the, it turned down. I'll, I'll look again in a minute, but I've got it turned down the bright the uh, the exposure turned down a lot, and I decided that. I'm going to use it when I, uh, I'm getting the BIOS on the server and everything. <coughs> and uh, I can't get it any closer than that uh, without being, you know, because it, it could be, in, it would need to be in straight in front of me. And it, uh, oh, now I see something right here. Uh, it, I, I turned the uh, resolution down thinking it would help, but I forgot the next step. I didn't like it. I like it like this because I can... Uh, and so this is playing it through in VIF uh, viewer. And uh, am I on desktop? Yeah. So if I'm on desktop and I go here, then it can be streamed and it can be recorded. But see, I can, it, it's so big, uh, the, the resolution bigger than my monitor. But I have the choice of, you know, where I want to, I can just take my mouse wheel and roll it up and down. And side to side, it doesn't, it's, if they make, it makes this application makes it fit. But so I decided that light wise and what I'm going to be doing wise, <clears throat> I think that's where I want it. And probably maybe whenever I see with the mic, it, well, it's not really in the way with it sitting there, but uh, uh, I could move the mic if I want to. But actually, it would be more. I mean, on the on the lapel. So what would it look like that way? I can just find out. Well, it's out of the way. A little shiny down there, but. <clears throat> you see, uh, so, uh, you know, when I'm talking about the keys I'm punching, if you might actually be, be able to kind of tell where, where I'm punching, you know, it's not, uh, I would rather be just zoomed in on monitor only so that you can actually read the screen, but this is a whole lot sharper, you know, higher resolution, it's five megapixels, and it's, uh, you know, higher than the phones, there are two, and, uh, <clears throat> and then it's a bigger, lot bigger resolution, so. Uh, maybe it'll be more readable. It won't just be blurry mess on the screen. The other camera, I, you know, it won't. Uh, well, the USB output has, you know, any adjustments you do on the new camera, it's supposed to be 13 megapixel. But uh, the adjustments you do, as far as the lighting and everything, they they don't they don't work on the USB output. And so the only thing I've got is what's in uh, OBS Studio, and it doesn't have a. The one that makes it, uh, let's see, I've got an image here. The, the exposure, the, the, that's what makes it to where you can, uh, the phones, you know, it has it in the uh, in the remote admin part of it, of the phone uh, page like this here. 
the IP webcam app. See, this isn't IP webcam that he's on the phone. This is IP camera uh, <clears throat> admin interface uh, and server interface that co uh, come with the, you know, it's on the camera. It's on the server that's on the, the IP cam. Um, so it just does, uh, it has that here. Uh, so that makes me able to do that. And I could work more on, I went ahead and left, uh, well, I changed this, the night vision mode, I put it on full color, it was on uh, intelligent. And I know normal makes it go black when it goes into night vision, so I didn't want that. And uh, <clears throat> the other one, intelligent, that's what was switching unexpectedly ye yesterday when I was, you know, uh, figuring it all out. <clears throat> and uh, I never did, I was going to go double check and see what settings I had in cam one, but I forgot. But I got this on the way I want it right now, so... Uh, and I think the auto is good because, uh, you know, indoor, outdoor, I don't know. I mean, maybe if you put it on indoor, the, well, the problem is, see, the sun's shining on that window over there, so it's probably, the auto is still probably better because if it was nighttime indoors, then maybe the indoor one might do better. I haven't tried it, so I don't know, but, uh, usually if there's some, if you can leave things on auto, it's usually better because you're when you're moving the camera around, you're using it in different situations. But uh, <clears throat> like if security camera, <coughs> stall it outside, <coughs> you might want to put it on outside. But you know, since it's I don't know, since it's day and night, it's still and you know the sun shining through the trees, like summer, winter, shade, no shade, all those sort of things. I would think auto would still be overall better. I didn't bother with the brightness or saturation. It really didn't look like it needed it. So uh, it's really better than, I mean, I can see that it is not, before it switches, you know, it's a little bit of a delay. Oh, yeah, I need to, I just need to take the frames per second down so it won't, it's sitting there too long. Uh, it's trying to, it's trying to do two more frames per second than can, 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 uh, either be played in, the, in my old machine, this old machine in Firefox or, or not, the, well, yeah, the machine, but in, you know, through this app or more than uh, can just be streamed. But for my gigabit network, it's on wired, right? It's not on Wi-Fi. I figured it could do it, but I'm just going to cut it down to 15. Uh, that'll be fine. I think, let's see, hit apply. Does it have to reboot? No. Okay. <clears throat> so that should... Help, let's see. I don't know if you'll be able to tell it now. My, it seems the same right now. But uh, I don't don't know. If, well, it doesn't say in this window that you have to reboot that I see. It might. I already did it once on some of the other settings. Sometimes those little... Sometimes it might be in the, uh, let's see, this is under media, this is under video, OS on screen display, image, it's looking at that, our, okay, t 1 to 1024, the late value the greater the switching time. I don't, oh, how long it takes to for the IR to cut, IR cut, okay. And this is about night vision. I guess that's part of night vision mode. It's on flipping mirror. I didn't know that. That was all, That's by default. <clears throat> oh, so it, it's default. They have it set up, defaulted to flip. So, uh, I think I figured that out before. When I, the first one, uh, some of my first video was upside down because I, I had the way I had the camera mounted on the board, but I could have went right there and clicked that and uh, or unclicked it or whatever and flipped the picture while I was just for you know my testing. But uh, I thought they had, I thought it had that somewhere, but I couldn't remember where it was at. Then the audio is all. Uh, this one is just by default, so I left that. Okay, so there's no sense in going through everything I just wanted to know about. I'm just not sure if I need to reboot it is the one thing. It takes a while, so I don't want to do it if I don't have to. 
I, while I'm doing things, I don't want it to be so delayed that it won't show up. Now, see, I'm waving. Already done. Now I'm waving the other hand. How long is it taking? I guess I better try rebooting it and see. Yeah, it's still painfully slow, so... Uh, and I have to be remembered to be on desktop and then click over here for this to show up in my video or my stream, you know. So I'm going to close this app, this viewer. That's the only way I can get it to show up in OBS is to play, play the player. So that's extra, you know, work for the machine and everything. So I'm going to hit reboot on this. And it takes a little while. And so I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and I'll do another test. So let's get back on the regular mod. Back on the SM58, play the music out, and then, then I'll, I'll have to do another test.